footage in yesterday to be fair it was uh, pretty uneventful really um, we had some good lap times and some good pace today obviously on saturday we've just done q1 which is the only qualifying session we do here at um, the graduates and i've managed to for the first time in the championship managed to get a double pole or pole in any case so i've got pole position for race one and pole position for race two which is a brilliant achievement for me uh, especially as a novice into this championship so I've got a, a 1 minute 15.8 for race 1, which put me in pole, and a 1 minute 15.9 for race 2, uh, also makes it pole, which is uh, for me a, a brilliant experience. Considering the, the calibre of people you're racing with here at the Grads, it's, it's definitely reassuring. So now all we've got to do is, during the race, try and break some of the toes. So it's going to be pretty crucial throughout the race that even by the end of lap one, because of the how significant the toe is down the back hanger straight, it's quite likely that by the end of the first lap, first position, even if I get a killer start and I lead into the first few corners, by the time you get to the hanger straight, it could well mean that I'm third fourth because everyone else will get a toe behind me and they'll just scream straight ahead. So let's hope that doesn't happen. And we've just got to wait an hour or so um, from now to get race one underway. So let's see what happens, guys. Second, uh, the last lap nearly got first on the last few corners, but we both locked up. We both went not really on the ideal line, and uh, Adrian Russell managed to secure first. I managed to get second, and um, Oliver Gibson managed to win the Sigmax Championship. Uh, because unfortunately, um, Jamie Elwood and uh, Jamie Winner, I think it was, uh, on the start of the hangar straight. Unfortunately, I think they had a collision and um, both got damaged. And as a result, the back the grid behind all got completely mixed up. And I think, unfortunately for for Jamie Elwood, it means he's out of the running for first place in the championship. So he's going tomorrow. He'll be fighting hard to get his score sorted in for second place in the championship. Sorry, Jamie. Well done, Ollie. And um, thanks everyone for a great, great first race. Good morning, and welcome to a overcast Sunday morning here at Silverstone International. So, final race of the actual championship, final race of the season this year with the Cage Room graduates. And yesterday I managed to get second place. Um, so I, I mentioned that yesterday and it was an incredible race. I haven't managed to watch my footage back yet, but there was obviously lots of touring and throwing, which was excellent racing, nice close racing, not a lot of contact. Unfortunately, I lost my rear left wing. Managed to retrieve it back, so we're going to fit that this morning. And then it's time to wait for race two. So race two is around uh, just after 11 o'clock. So a little bit of waiting around, pack the car up, pack the tent down. Have a little walk around the paddock, speak to everybody, see how everyone's car is, make sure everyone's got things ready. Sam Wilson had a bit of a problem with his flywheel, so he's uh, managed to get a new flywheel brought from the factory. So he's going to be getting that fitted today, so hopefully he'll be up in the running again. Jamie Elwood got his car fixed. I think Jamie Winrow got his car fixed. So basically hang around now, wait till 11 and get going again. So we'll try and see if we can see any of the other races before us, because I think the classics are racing before us um, and the Megas and Supers. So we'll see if we can catch all of that. But let's pack the car up and then we'll see if we can catch some of the races. Okay, so that's Sunday's race over. <clears throat> Pole position again today on Sunday. Managed to get a good start, not as good as yesterday. I think I lost um, the first corner to Jamie Elwood in the, um, at the start of the race. Managed to get it back on the end of the hangar straight, I think it was, or the next lap. And really good, close battling throughout the race. 
Everyone was so close. No contact, no damage. Absolutely brilliant. Really enjoying the race. Managed to defend it really well. Had some good pace down the straights again. And ultimately led it most of the race in my opinion. I think it was probably 98-95% I led the race. First ever time in that position, there's quite a lot of pressure on you, trying to make sure that you're defending the line, trying to make sure you're not making mistakes, you're not breaking too late to make it a mistake and you're, you're completely screwing up your lap times and the people aren't gaining an advantage on you. Continued on in that methodology of trying to make sure I'm obviously not messing around, not not overthinking things, not trying to get too relaxed, checking your mirrors every now and then, making sure where everyone else is placed so you can adjust accordingly. <clears throat> Last lap board finally came out, even though every lap I was coming through after lap 13, I was like, come on, last lap board, last lap board. Finally came out, final push, down the hangar straight, Oliver Gibson on my left, Jamie Winrow behind me. Um, Jamie Elwood was in fourth place at the time. Uh, I had a little bit of oversteer. After making sure I didn't hit Oliver Gibson, all of a sudden Jamie Elwood came um, across the apex, um, clipped all the way down the side of my car, unfortunately went off um, track limits on the outside of the corner and took the lead and the last two corners he was in front and managed to take the checkered flag and he won the race meaning I got second I was a little bit annoyed obviously at the time a bit frustrated all of the emotions going on I didn't feel it was a safe move so went to the clock of the course as, as, as the process dictates um, we did the podiums obviously got the second place trophy popped the champagne which is a really nice experience again same as yesterday, <coughs> explained everything to the clock of the course, provided video evidence of my opinions. They reviewed all of the footage, both for myself and from Jamie. And unfortunately for Jamie, he um, received a one second penalty for exceeding track limits to gain an advantage. And as a result of that, he was given the one second penalty, which demoted him to fifth place, which meant I got my first ever win in the Caterham Graduates Championship. So this year, my first ever year racing as a novice, I managed to get a first, a second, a third place throughout the championship. Managed to get a double pole position here at Silverstone, so this weekend has been incredible. I've got a little bit of damage to the car, not a lot, but it's been a brilliant weekend, a brilliant end to the championship, and i am thoroughly enjoyed it. Looking, looking forward to coming back here next year, looking forward to racing with the grads a few times next year, probably race a little bit with the, the seven race series as well and we'll see what we can do thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys soon